Welcome to 2000 Cumberland. This beautiful home located in the heart of Mary Acres West subdivision. This like new construction located in this beautiful cul-de-sac. Let's take a look inside. As you enter the front porch area, you'll notice the hardy plank exterior, the beautiful brick details. They just took out a tree here, so that's gonna have sod coming back in. And you've got a great rocking chair front porch. The foyer entry is very large. You've got double ceiling height here, arch detail, and then added wainscoting for extra charm. They also put the wainscoting in the dining room and you've got plantation shutters and it's open to the great room. And these stairs lead to the additional three bedrooms or two bedrooms and a bonus room upstairs. The great room is very spacious. You've got built-in bookshelves, cathedral ceiling height, extra windows, a gorgeous gas fireplace that looks as close to real as you can get, brick hearth, handsome mantel, again open to the dining room and the kitchen, and then also open to this beautiful sunroom that was added on. This space is also heated and cooled and has have gorgeous sweeping views of the backyard. There's also access into a small little um, covered porch. Perfect for enjoying that morning cup of coffee. Fenced yard. And again, in this quiet cul-de-sac lot. We'll see the kitchen next. As we come back in the great room, you will enter the kitchen. It's got a large breakfast area. You'll notice the detailing over the windows and the crown molding. Lots of cabinet space. Even cabinets on the outside of the island there, or peninsula. You've got a pantry space here, plus the drawer space on the bottom. You've got a wall oven, a warming drawer, and a built-in microwave, plus a gas range, five burner gas range, soft closed drawers, and this is a honed granite, so it's got a real soft finish to it, and you've got a beadboard black backsplash, stainless steel appliances, breakfast bar, and again, just light and bright. There are two bedrooms located on the main level. First, we'll see the guest bedroom and the laundry room just off the back side of the kitchen. This laundry room, and you'll note the cottage style doors here that are just beautiful. You've got a really spacious laundry room. Little area for pets or extra trash. You've got lots of cabinet space, plantation shutters, sink area, and then additional pantry or storage space here. It's a built-in ironing board. You do have a tankless Renai hot water system. Um, you'll also note that there is a full bath right here off the backside. This is also for guests as well. Um, it's a single vanity, and then you have a tub shower combination. And this serves for the powder bath as well as the guest bedroom on the main level. This one's got beautiful views of the backyard. And then this is your closet space here. Next, we'll head toward the master. So we head back toward the master. This is the garage door. We'll go out there a little bit later. This is your private entry into the master suite. You've got a very spacious master with a nice sitting area. You've got tray ceiling with recessed lights. Access back into that sunroom area. These stained glass windows do not stay with the house. They're sentimental, so those will be leaving, but the original windows are just right behind them. This is the master bathroom. You've got his and her sinks. 
um, a little makeup vanity area, custom mirror with sconces. You've got beadboard, jacuzzi tub, a lovely built-in, and then a really nice size shower. And you've got two shower heads. Also located in the master bath is the private water closet as well as the walk-in closet here. You've got his and her sides. Little sitting area, built-in bench, storage, shoe rack. And then additional storage space on this side. Next, we'll head upstairs. As we come up the stairs, you've got a nice little landing area, a view of the great room. So upstairs, you've got two full bedrooms. This one has some nice built-ins that were added. You've got a little window seat. It's a nice size walk-in closet. This bedroom accesses the hall bathroom. This has also got a great built-in and those so slow closed drawers, all custom cabinets. Comes through, it's a Jack and Jill style bath, so you have a tub shower combination. Then it comes to, through to the other side where this bedroom has a vanity area as well as a walk-in closet. This bedroom has a little vault in the ceiling and again has beautiful views out into the backyard. This room is an office. It was originally a music room for the original owner. You've got built-in bookshelves, but a great home office. There's also a second office outside in the basement level that we'll see in just a bit, but this is a really nice little room. I mean, it really could even be used as a nursery if someone needed the overflow space. And then everyone's favorite part of the house, entering the little wet bar setup is the theater room. This is a great bonus room. It's got a step down. You've got vaulted ceilings. Plenty of room. And you've got access to a hall bath, so this could be used as a bedroom if needed. You would need to add a closet, but um, it's a perfect media hangout space as well. Next, we'll head outside to the backyard into the lower level where the storage and the basement office is located. This is a little pan of the driveway area. You've got plenty of parking access into the backyard. This is the garage space here. You've got two windows in the garage, plenty of room to turn around and then access back into the house there. So as we head down, you'll notice all the lush landscaping. And establish hardscaping as well. This is a green space over here behind the house, so that won't ever be developed. You've got a nice little covered porch back here. And then the access into the office. So you enter the office. Again, we're in the basement level. So it has its own private access, perfect from working for home. Has um, beautiful custom cabinets for a library appeal. But this room could be used for lots of different purposes, workout space, home office. This is a room behind this wall here that um, is the extra storage. So it really could be finished off for a mother-in-law suite if someone needed. It does have a small little closet utility space here. And then we'll head back out and see that other storage room. So into the other side of the storage of the basement, again, this is what I was mentioning, could be finished off. You've got a utility sink, just great walk-in storage, could be a man cave. Um, this I'll show you from the outside. This is a little pet area. This whole house is very pet friendly. These are little dog retreats from the outside that where you can have a pet to come in um, out of the weather. It's a really nice touch. There's also 
um, doggy doors and cat doors going into the laundry room and into the house, which is also just a really nice little extra. You've got a double gate in the back side there. We're located again in Mary Acres West subdivision, which is um, zoned for Lake Park School. And it's just a beautiful little spot. Welcome home.